So Clay, who is the director um, of Disney Planes, and Tracy, who is a producer, worked yeah. on the film as well. Yep. Um, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Um, now Disney Planes, right? Pretty fun yeah. film to work on. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Tell us um, some stuff you had to do, which was like hard work when yeah. you were researching for the, for the film. Had to, as in wink, wink. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Well, I'll kick it off. Okay. Uh, so, you know, part of the research was to actually get up into several different air aircraft and fly inside them. So myself with the story team and the art director, we actually got the ride in a World War II B-25 bomber. Cool. I went up in a hot air balloon. Uh, I also went in a P-51 Mustang fighter, which was another just a tremendous experience, you know. Um, and those are airplanes that are still being used today to actually air race. So that was very applicable to the movie in a lot of ways. And then Tracy? And then we had to take a trip around the world. Around we the world. had to do some yeah. research. This is a around the world race. Truly. So we got the privilege of stopping in Germany, which happened to be during Oktoberfest. Accidentally. <laughs> happened to be. Yeah. Uh, we got to go to one of the seven wonders of the world and see the Taj Mahal in person. Cool. I mean, amazing and breathtaking. Gosh, we got to stop by New York. We got to stop on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, that was probably yeah. the, 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 the most epic part of yeah. all the research. So it's like that in the sea, a huge boat that has lots of aircraft flying off it. For the yes. Navy, right? right? Yep. For the Navy, the US Navy. Cool. Yep, so we, uh, we landed on the USS Carl Vinson, which was 150 miles outside of San Diego. And we actually got to land on the deck and spend two days with the men and women of the United States Navy, the officers. They actually watched a little bit of our movie and helped us get the the, the jargon, jargon yeah. right, you know, yeah. the, the talk, the speak, and it was a fabulous trip. All that in the name of research. Yes, yeah, it's a tough job, isn't it? Best job right. in the world. That's I amazing. Know, right? um, so, tell us a little bit about the story as well, because we meet Dusty, who's a crop duster, right? He's right. Quite a small plane, um, and then he decides he wants to be a racer, which exactly. is a little bit out there. Um, yeah. what, what does he get up to? Go ahead, Trace. So Dusty, you know, he starts from humble beginnings. He's a small town guy, spends his days dusting the crops, but he's got big dreams and he's got some challenges along the way. He wants to be a racer, but he's got a little fear of heights. So we get <laughs> no to follow him as he, you know, tries to overcome his fears and see the world and make some new friends along the way. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Sounds brilliant. Um, there's also quite a few like kind of acrobatic sort of tricks in the film as well. Um, tell us about like your favorite one. Talk us through it. Yeah, um, well, there's, yeah, there, you're absolutely correct. There's several acrobatic tricks, tricks throughout the film that uh, the planes pull on each other, you know. Uh, but what Dusty learns one of the key ones, which is a radial G turn. Now, the skipper, his mentor character, an old World War II combat veteran, teaches him how to basically uh, raise the plane up and pitch it more or less on the side and go inverted for a turn. And what that does is it basically you can create speed by dropping for gravity. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a term that they actually use when you race around pylons and try to pass other planes. So, so Dusty's never heard of that when the movie starts, but by the time he finishes, he's mastered that move. It's pretty good, he knows his stuff, that's cool. Yeah. Apart from Dusty, you meet lots of other of his friends in the movie as well. Um, tell us about your favorite character apart from Dusty, who's that? My favorite character, yes. gosh, it's gonna sound so cliche. I love Dottie, and I think Terry Hatcher played her brilliantly. She's smart, she's witty, she's so supportive of Dusty, even when she may not think it's the best idea. Um, you know, I think she's just a great character, and she's a really good female character on top of that. She's strong, so I like her. Cool, amazing, Clay, how Yeah, for, for me, I would have to say it would probably be El Chupacabra. He's this big-hearted, lovable Mexican luchador, racing airplane, telenovela star, you know, he's a, he's a singer, a songwriter, an actor. He does it all. He's the indoor racing champion of the world. Cool. But he befriends Dusty, and he becomes one of his good buddies, and he actually helps Dusty along the way, and they really have this great friendship. And uh, I just I, I love that character and what he brings to the film and the growth of that friendship throughout the end of the story. Yeah. is tremendous. And it's funny as well. He's got a funny character, isn't he? He cracks yeah. all the jokes. Yeah. yeah. He's cool. and he, he, he wears a dance. mask. Yeah. As well. yeah. He does a cool little dance in the film, that's yeah. cool. Um, also as well, tell us, uh, is there anything we should look out for when we go see the movie? Because I know, obviously, um, we had Disney Cars before as well, and it, you know, it's obviously quite similar to that, and made by Disney as well. Is there anything we should look out for in the film? What do you think? You know, we don't like to give away all our no. secrets. <laughs> I think we gotta keep a few. You wanna share one? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, go ahead. Well, there is one crossover vehicle from the world of cars, so you can be on the lookout for that, but we'll tell you it's not Mater. 
Okay, it's not Mater. Okay, not yes. Mater. something to look out for. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Um, if you guys were a plane, right? If you if you had to be a new character in the film, uh, yeah. which plane would you be? Talk us through it. What would you look like? What would you yeah. be? Yeah. Well, I'd have to be uh, one of my favorite airplanes of all time, outside of the uh, the Corsair that Skipper is. Would be the P fifty one Mustang. Okay. Still flying today. She's sleek. She's fast. Powerful, but yet smooth as silk. Sounds great when it's running. Sounds great when it's idling. So I'd be a P-51. Okay. I think I'd be an F-18. I want Whoa, a flight suit. Oh, look at you. I want to go fast and be wearing a flight suit. <laughs> go Mach 2, yeah. huh? Yeah. Wow. Would that make you sick? It probably, probably would make me completely sick. Okay. It would look cool for a bit. I still want to try it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, guys, thank you so much. Awesome film. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing it. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank it was you. a pleasure.